Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today, um, I'd like to start by introducing myself and letting you know that every week we I come live on this uh, beautiful platform uh, and I call it Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It is a weekly uh, platform of uh, bringing you information, inspiration, and sometimes talking about certain things that I can be of assistance and help to you as a viewer and I thank you for being a constant viewer and subscribing to my YouTube thank you the information will be placed in there for you by trade I'm a clinical hypnotherapist stress management consultant specializing in women's wellness uh, and so many call me as women's wellness expert today I want to talk about something I it prompted me to continue talking because of a beautiful email and actually it's not an email it was a message that i received on facebook and i want to start with that because it says dear lisa i loved your facebook live last week where you talked about pain and how to let go what if it still continues daily and pains me to see it and feel it I am ashamed to let anyone see me like this and I don't let friends come over. What can I do? My hands are tied. Can you help us? And it continues to explain a little bit more about the situation. Uh, hi, Seta Jan, how are you? And I wanted to delve a little bit deeper about uh, what is pain not only physical pain but i as a clinical hypnotherapist one of the things we do is um, my specialty is to listen for words gestures um, the implications that is there and especially for an email like this that talks about it pains her and she is ashamed and she feels her hands are tied. So those are all visualizations and feelings of pain instead of the pain, physical pain itself. So this possible um, client of mine is talking about a situation that is happening inside her home about herself and what she is uh, witness to so just like the way I say accidents are not accidents there is always a cause and an effect if you agree just let me know just say yes that there is always a cause and effect because even when there is an accident um, auto accident there's always a cause and effect so someone made a turn someone was drunk someone made the wrong move and the effect is the other person did not see them the other person uh, it was not in their vision the other person was going fast and they did not it were not able to stop in time so one of the things that i help my clients is the pain factor so the physical aspect of pain comes from our thought and then the feeling and then the body reacts. Pain, physical pain is always there knocking and saying there's something wrong or else we would not be paying attention to our body or anything else. Now, what is the emotional aspect, what we are talking about? So there is a story and I like to share about a story uh, of a teacher who asked her students to each bring a sack and a sack of potatoes and uh, and he sat everyone down and said 
Now, here is something that you're going to carve the potatoes. And for every painful experience you've had, and this is like high school students, not adults, because we experience pain so much more in our life than the kids do, right? So here's high school student, and he says, I want you to take this potato and carve out every painful uh, experience in your life. And it could be being humiliated, bullied, shame, uh, loneliness, if you feel self uh, lack of confidence, if you have had any kind of a regret in your life, if you've experienced betrayal, or someone has hurt you, either knowingly or unknowingly, but you felt the hurt, and or even feel like someone has uh, uh, done something wrong to uh, cause pain to you. And it could be an, either a person's name or an experience. And you should put the name of this person or experience inside the potato that you have not been able to forgive or let go of that experience. And to this day, you have been holding on to that grudge. And each student had to choose a potato, carve it, and put it in the sack. And the teacher said, we're going to do this for a while, not telling them how many days it's going to be. But he said, every single day, we're going to continue doing this. And you're going to carry this sack with you. When you're in class, the sack stays with you. When you're on the bus or in the car, the sack has to be with you. When you go home, you're going to carry the sack home. And that sack is going to be placed next to your bed at night. And in the morning, you're going to do all the things. And you're going to bring that sack with you to class the next day. So for the entire month, these students had, were required to always carry around the potatoes. And every single day, they had to carve one new potato and put an experience and a name inside. So I want you to realize at the end of the month, the hassle of lugging this sack of potatoes, because by then there was a lot. It was more than some students had to carve more than one potato a day because they had so much grudge, grief, sadness, low self-esteem. Someone had hurt them. They, they had been bullied or they were the bullier. Whatever it was, even regrets inside the sack. So can you imagine, as an adult, we have more strength to carry that. But for a student, they had to do this for a month. So at the end of the month, they sat and they all had this bag of potatoes and they looked and some of them were huffing and puffing and they were begrudging the teacher for an experience that they had to do this. So this is what the teacher said. It seems a high price to pay to hold on to people and experiences, even emotions that were not a positive value in your life. Because as you've been carving experiences and names of the other people, and you've been carrying it day in and day out, all through, they never felt it. They never knew about it. So it pains you to carry this load all the time without them having any idea what you've been going through. So when I talk about my 3E method, which is evoking all this, everything, evoking all the ideas, thoughts, concepts, images, colors, everything, all these experiences, even the names of the people who have been hurting you, 
the biggest pain factor in our life is shame and guilt so when this lady messaged me about the shame and not allowing friends to come in in a way it says I'm ashamed of myself I'm ashamed of my surrounding I am ashamed so what that's the cause and finding the cause of the shame is it because the house is de uh, cluttered and you need to declutter it are you ashamed of yourself your body what and of course it's not necessarily about her because this is my question to you to my audience or someone you may know if they feel shame of their experience in in their life one person long time ago was a client of mine and to this day felt shame of a procedure that she had done and held on to that experience of shame thinking that if she had to reveal having an abortion some of her friends would look at her as how dare you because she comes across as one of those that it, 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 this very religious and everything but she was placed in a situation that she had no no recourse no other choice than to do this and she was young during her college years and this is 30 years prior but to that day so she was struggling inside and when she revealed that through her sessions with me it was tears flowing and for the she said for the first time I'm talking about this and this is one shame I've been holding on to well nobody knew nobody really would care what she did during her college years and it was her perception of what other people would think and do or say so that pain carrying that load carrying that sack of potato for over 30 years and that's what I'm calling it's called a mental pain an emotional baggage that turns into pain and had been affecting her to this day so that is my question to you if you were to not necessarily do this exercise but to sit and think and ponder upon yourself what are the load of experiences and people that I have not let go or not forgiven myself for dragging it for bringing it with me and hauling this weight emotional weight physical weight a burden that has been on my shoulder on my body on my psyche on my energy in my environment that I've been holding on to they don't know it they have absolutely no idea it's on me for me and what has been the gift and if you look at it today how has this been helping you so what I've learned it takes more energy to store pain than it does to face it and that's why we evoke my 3e e method evoking it so that you can face it and embrace who you are today what is your lifestyle what is your body weight what is the struggles you are going through that perhaps you have not recognized or been aware that sack of potato you've been carving it for a long time and sometimes it's been carving it with like a begrudgment and just this hatred 
still a potato. The potato does not feel it. It was you. And it was good because it helped you do something about it. And yet, you placed it in a sack. And only you are the one who's carrying it. So it's no wonder that so many feel tired, in pain, listless, restless, can't sleep well. Pain travels throughout your body and you can go to doctor after doctor, doctor after doctor. They can do all kinds of EKG. They can do all kinds of uh, testing. They can do your blood test. They can do your heart test. You, they can do stress test. And yes, it's the stress of holding on. So if you're ready to open the sack, <laughs> empty it and when you empty it believe it you can do this at home you can write the names and experiences you've been holding on to you can just imagine the sack of potatoes and literally get a sack and think of it all this that you've been holding it to and if you just empty it <laughs> let it go for you Free yourself from the pain. Free yourself from the pain. Free yourself from holding on. And because so many have forgotten how to feel in peace, having that inner peace, that vitality, joy. You know, the opposite of pain is gain, feeling great, feeling accepted, nourished, and feeling independent and peace inner peace so at night other than all the to-do list right you can sleep and give yourself to sleep with absolutely no shame no guilt none of that hello hi oh oh my god Maris is in the house hello um gansh yum Hello, thank you for being here. Amazing, the power of weight and of old stories. Yes, all stories that we hold on to. Uh, so today, I, if this person who sent me this message, I know you're watching again. I want you to know, if you are ashamed of your body, you can do something about it. If it is an odor, you can do something about it. If it is the, uh, a house that you are hoarding, that's holding on to, you can begin. I have someone who can help you declutter. I can help you declutter. I've gone to people's home and we've sat in there so that in the middle of everything, you come to feel what it is that you're holding on to. And if you need to cry, we can cry. It's okay. So I've walked around um, the block with my clients during COVID. I used to walk with one of my clients who was having panic and anxiety. It's like, if, that what, if that's what it takes, let's do it. Let's walk. In my old office, I had a client who had a fear of getting into an elevator and claustrophobic. She was okay everywhere else except an elevator. So understanding that she had a, a small little thing, an experience that happened to her when she was a little girl, she was like a, a toddler and the elevator the doors were stuck or something and her mom went into a panic and because of her mom going into a panic she had held on to that experience and every time she would go into an elevator she would feel this trepidation and panic so what I did we went if you knew my office across the street from uh, my office few uh, two blocks over was the Americana and we went we walked around, we started laughing and watching the waterfalls and everything. And I said, let's go uh, and get into the elevator. She's like, I can't. And I said, yes, you can. 
So together we went to the elevator and as it was going up, she was having it and I said, I want you to remember the waterfall, the joy that you had and standing here, you are safe. So I had already given her the affirmations, worked with her a few times before and instilled in her the uh, into her subconscious that I am safe in an elevator. And as the elevator went up, the doors opened and I could see her face. It's like, okay, I can handle this. The doors closed. And she looked at me and I said, you can go higher. And we went higher and higher and higher all the way to the fourth floor. And then the doors opened and I said, you don't have to get off. We can go all the way down now. And we did this twice and three times and walked out and back in, walked out and back in. And I said, now I stay here and you go up and down. You see, by doing this, and for her to know I am good, I am safe by myself and with others. And the elevator's door will always open and close, open and close. There was no more bag of potatoes. That fear, that experience of the past that pained her and gave her that feeling of, I can't. The pain in her chest, that emotional pain, was gone. The fear was gone. And now she had all the stability, the strength, the confidence, and the inner knowing that I am safe and I can. I am safe. I can. So... Today's message for you is holding on is the heaviest bag of burdens and weight. And I urge you, talk to someone, do this exercise on your own, or you may always Know that you are free to call me. Message me. If you have any questions, if you have any messages, if there is anything I can be of an assistant to you, by all means, I am here for you. Sometimes we don't have to be hypnotized to make a change. And if you close your eyes for just a moment, just for a moment. Go ahead, close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. One more time, nice deep breath in. And exhale. And one last time as you breathe in, bringing oxygen and vitality into your body, you hold and you say thank you. Being grateful to all the potatoes in your sack, to every experience, to every single person who's been a part of your life from the time that you were a toddler, your caregivers, your mentors, your teachers, your family members, friends, colleagues, and to this very moment, because for good or bad, they made an impact in your life. And today, just for today, you can take all that and put it in the palm of your hand and look at it and like a gyro, move, move, and feel the vibration of everything in the palm of your hand. And you say,
Bye-bye. Good, bad, right, wrong, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because today you can shake it off, you can release it, you can let it go, and you can play in the little girl's world that I grew up. Ferro Jaco, Ferro Jaco, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sole la matina, sole la matina, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Now, do I remember what the words, the meaning of that words are? No. That was when I was in kindergarten. And I remember every one of us doing that. And it made us laugh. It made us smile. And it moved our body. And we looked and clapped and had a great time. How did I remember it? I have no idea. But the moment I released it, maybe subconsciously, I had to release something from my preschool years. And if it was, thank you. Because your subconscious mind will remind you of the things you need to do. So embrace it and be grateful because it's time for you to evolve. You do matter. My name is Eliza Wubari, and I am your expert hypnotherapist in women's wellness. So for today, be grateful to your life and as I am to you. If you believe this message was informational and inspirational, by all means, would you please share? And I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, God bless, and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click 